With me today is Dr. Burton Folsom, Jr. He's an American history professor at Hillsdale College. He's also the senior fellow in economic education at the Mackinac Center for Public Policy. He currently holds the Klein Chair in History and Management at Hillsdale College. Welcome. Good to be with you, Mallory. What are you going to be telling us about the New Deal today? That the New Deal did not work. Stimulus spending, the idea that you're going to plow lots of federal funds into the American economy, did not get us out of the Great Depression. In fact, it made it worse. The idea here is that What about all those great projects that FDR put together to get people employed? Did, didn't it bring uh, unemployment down dramatically? No. Unemployment was 20 percent as late as April 1939. And part of it is that for every federal job that you get, you end up taking one out of the private sector because the capital for, uh, is removed from the private sector. That's where jobs come from. People inventing things, people taking risks, making products that people want. What got us out of that Great Depression? What got us out of the Great Depression was when we finally cut back on federal spending. The federal spending from World War II, we cut back by two-thirds in 1946 and 1947. You're saying that cutting back federal spending got us out of the Depression? I'm saying exactly that. Cutting tax is, rates but, but, as well. But isn't that contrary to everything I've ever learned in school? It, it is. It, it, in some ways, it's counterintuitive, but that's only because we're taught that if the government doesn't do it, it can't possibly be really effective. Uh, I suggest the, an opposite way of looking at it, that usually when the government does a task, it's done ineffectively, and that it really doesn't contribute to economic growth, that if we let entrepreneurs get us out of recessions and depressions, we will be in much better shape. They're the ones willing to take the risk, willing to invent the products that people want, that will employ people, yield profits, and prosperity. Wow. Are there implications for today? Tremendous implications for today. We uh, historians have believed that the big spending worked during the New Deal and during World War II. Therefore, the idea is if we replicate this with uh, 2008 when we get into another crisis, that will get us out of that crisis as well. The truth is the spending did not get us out of the Great Depression. The war spending, although it did remove unemployment, only created a problem that was going to be later. What do we do after the war? It was decreasing federal spending and cutting tax rates that got us out of the war. If we learn that lesson, we would not have tried the massive federal spending in 2008 that led to a perpetuation of the Great Recession. But wouldn't people be out in the streets without the spending that's going on? No, they would be employed making iPhones and other products that Steve Jobs and other entrepreneurs would make. What, less, what is the major lesson we learned from all of this? The lesson is that freedom works and that government spending by bureaucrats whose money is not really at stake does not work as well. Dr. Burton Folsom, Jr., thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Mallory.